And it's not like we needed another know-it-all on the show. Oh, really? How? I was talking about me. Now that Bossy makes Smarty Pants is back, no one's ever going to listen to me ever again. Sorry, did you say something, honey? Oh, blah, 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 blah. I don't get it. How do you make fire with a rock? Oh, is this like that game Rock, Paper, Scissors? <sighs> Give me those. Pretty thinks she knows everything, but she doesn't know that when I was 12, my flat iron once accidentally set fire to my grandma's house. Twice! I'll have this going in no time. I was a CIT, you know. Oh, blah, 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 blah! Gaffers win the first challenge! Ah! You obviously gave me fake flints! Nobody could start a fire with these ridiculous props! like that. Not so fast. I'm liking the costume. What's your superpower? Duh! I wonder a lot. Oh, and I have an invisible jet right here. Or did I leave it over there? You win. I loved Wonder Woman as a kid. Ten points. What? What about originality? Wonder Woman's already a superhero. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this your show? Oh, no. No, it's my show, which means I make the rules. Actually, I think my lawyers make the rules. Possibly, but I'm still the judge of the contest, and I deem Lindsay the winner, which means she gets an advantage in the next challenge. Yay! You may have won the first round, but we'll see who comes out on top. <gasps> Courtney just stepped on my invisible jet! Courtney, minus two points for stepping on Lindsay's jet. Uh, no! Yeah, but maybe if we find Chris, he'll have some kind of surprise. Who doesn't love surprises? I think he was giving us hints. He said he was on cloud nine. That's like heaven, which means he's not alive anymore. What do you do with dead people? You bury them. So maybe he's buried underground. Maybe we should dig and see if we find him. Uh, we could. The only problem is that makes zero sense. No one ever listens to me anymore since Courtney got here. What's so weird about Chris being buried alive? Oh, it's so obvious. Chris said he was feeling safe and secure. Get it? Safe? Chris said that he was going to crack open a soda. You crack a safe. Now you get it? No, still nothing. He's clearly in the bank vault set from the bank heist challenge. Duh. Nice. Go figure. I've got a brain. Hey, I was the one who said Chris was giving clues. You did, sweetie. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I still think I should get credit for coming up with the idea to look for clues. If we listened to you, we'd still be digging under the cafeteria with teaspoons. Not nice. Look, guys, it doesn't matter in the big picture who did what, as long as we all have fun. Lindsay, I really respect you. I was only acting like that out of jealousy. I would sincerely like us to be friends. Let me make it up to you. Can I treat you to a spa session? Ooh, spas are my very favorite. I am good. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> I never had a manicure done on the bottom of my fingers. Oh, it's all the rage in France. Oh, I love being trendy. Ah! Oh, blah, 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 blah. Pinheads. Would a pinhead be dusting the place for Prince? Um, yes. Good idea, Lindsay. I'll collect evidence too. No! This feels a little too familiar for comfort. I'm sorry. 
sure the others won't listen to me. They keep listening to... We should be looking for other clues just in case. We still have to figure out how Chris died. Can you die if somebody poisons your hair gel? Because he uses a lot of that. Oh, blah, 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 blah. This is the same person who thought Chris was buried alive? Doesn't it make more sense to help me try to get us off this train? If I do, can I still use this? Yes. And congratulations on being too sensible to listen to Lindsay. Yeah? Well, what do you know? I could be just as right about this as anybody. I have to admit that I was still unsure about the whole murder thing. But Lindsay didn't have to know that. The key to being a leader is making decisions. I've made all of my decisions for the next four years. Want to know what I'm having for breakfast next April 22nd? Sorry, continue. Here, we have a suspicious napkin covered on opposite ends with some kind of orange powder, as though it was held like a murder weapon. And here we have Courtney eating a bag of orange cheesies, which she refused to share. Therefore, Courtney was the only one to have orange cheesy fingers. Oh, this is ridiculous. Really? The prints don't lie. I was framed. Who are you going to believe? Dingbat over here or someone who actually has a brain? Cuff her. <laughs> oh, I really had you guys. I look good in rubber, don't you think? Cracker Jack special effects, dudes. Whoa, Coolio. How do I get a rubber herald? Threaten to quit your hosting job unless they give you an extra big budget to psych the kids out. I was not psyched out. I knew. Nonetheless. The winner of today's reward challenge is the person who solved the crime. And that person is Detective Lindsay. I prefer Detective Lindsay for hotness. No, this isn't fair. I won two portions already. I was the one who knew you weren't dead. She couldn't even tell the difference between a human being and a rubber dummy. Besides, I didn't do it. I'm innocent. They all say that. The reward that Lindsay will be enjoying tonight is a night at the movies with a friend of her choice. Huh? It's been so long since I've been to the movies. Sorry that we all accused you. Happens all the time. No props. Wanna go to the movies with me? <gasps> Other, but it was a good strategistical logical move because it messed with Courtney's head. This is not fair. How can I be mad at Lindsay? Watching Courtney be jealous was the best, especially when she tried to pretend she didn't care. Who cares? <laughs> not me. I couldn't care less. <laughs> not if I tried to care less. I do not care. your movie reward last night is retaliation. The murder mystery challenge is over, so you can stop massacring that song. I was not mascaring anything except my eyelashes, Courtney. What's the other thing you said I did? Guys, can't we try to get along? Oh, stop playing dumb, Lindsay. Ooh, ooh, like butter knives were free. <sighs> She's not playing, is she? And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the photographic evidence. Let's see your best shot, shall we? Courtney Dot, Duncan Sock, Owen Tripped, Natch, Beth, Let Harold. If that's not a cry for help, I don't know what is. And Lindsay Post, which means we have a winner. Lindsay! <gasps> How is that possible? I did the best job of avoiding the paparazzi. Who said you were supposed to avoid the botox? The paparazzi means exposure. And Lindsay, exposed. You know it. Lindsay wins an advantage in the next part of the challenge where you'll compete for invincibility. I hate, hate, hate losing. So when Lindsay had won, it took all my years of studying transcendental meditation to keep it together. 